Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to share with you a whole bunch of delicious smelling items that I picked up in a huge haul. I have some hygiene items here, I have a candle, I have a few body sprays and things like that and I'm really excited to share my finds with you. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk a lot about fragrances. We also do a little bit of minimalism, home decor, sometimes a little bit of fashion, room tours, decluttering, lots of perfume stuff, lots of body spray stuff, things like that. If you like those things, I would love if you would consider subscribing subscribing. Also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram. Everything I have in the video today will be linked down below as well as my Instagram down in the description. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's little delicious smelling haul. Okay, so the first item that I got is this candle from Bath & Body Works and this is Twisted Peppermint. I absolutely love the scent of this candle, you guys. It is the perfect mixture for me of mint meets like a sweet, warm, cozy vanilla. It's not too minty. I don't like a straight up mint candle, but this is like a really happy medium. I also really like peppermint sugar cookie, but this time I wanted something just a little bit fresher, ever so slightly fresher. And this one is just so beautiful, you guys. So it has this really cute packaging on it with like the little snowmen and the trees. This is a very Christmas christmas-esque um i just think you can't go wrong in your house having peppermint as one of the scents in your home it always smells clean and always smells fresh on the bottom it says that it has cool peppermint sugared snow fresh balsam vanilla buttercream and a hint of musk and oh my gosh oh i that's so good oh it's so good this is just the most beautiful beautiful like this is the most perfect christmas scent for me i am not all about like the pine and the leaves smells and like cranberry and stuff like that i'm just not much of a typical christmas candle kind of person i like my vanillas i like my butter creams i like my cozy warm like marshmallow fireside peppermint sugar cookie twisted peppermint like those are my kind of christmas candles and i just love this so much i probably will end up taking off the label just because um i find that the candle looks better in my house when it is just a plain white candle so again that's a little tip that i always tell people i know i'm not the, the person who came up with this obviously but remove labels from your candles if you want the candle to look more minimalistic and not so busy although this is a very cute cute design as well like super cute like it's giving me all the Christmas feels I love it I think Bath and Body Works is currently having a sale right now on candles I think they're $15.99 so I might go and pick up another one um, tomorrow because I'm actually going to be in the city all right and the next two items are from Victoria's Secret and they are a couple of body sprays I actually found these on fragrance net this one here is Victoria's Secret velvet petals I had heard so many good things about the original velvet petals and then this one is called whipped dream so actually let's say velvet petals for last and we'll do whipped dream first so this one you guys I actually don't like um I am giving a decant of this to my friend and if she likes it I'll probably just give this to her it is it's very strong like it's very good quality but it says it smells like cake sprinkles and vanilla caramel and I don't know if there's notes on the back no there isn't um so it's super cute it looked like something that I might be into but it's very very sweet like it's very overwhelmingly sweet. It almost smells like a some sort of a caramel crepe. Like it's overwhelmingly pastry sweet, too dense, too thick, too rich. It actually makes me feel sick to my stomach. It's just it's just too rich for me. Um yeah. So I think this would have really good longevity and probably good per projection. I haven't actually tested it out because it's not my type of fragrance, but yeah, so this one actually makes me feel sick, <laughs> but if you like this type of scent, very, very strong and worth checking out. Now, this one, on the other hand, is definitely a me type of body spray. I absolutely love it. I don't know if the notes are on here. So it says, Lush Blooms Almond Glaze Made You Blush. So it doesn't really tell you much about the notes that are in here, but this is actually such a beautiful scent, you guys. Now, I do have the, I think I have Velvet Petals golden or something or velvet petals like some variation of this upstairs i don't care for that one yeah i think it's velvet petals golden that one is very like tropical smelling and this one is a little bit more like your typical um kind of fruity floral with just a touch of gourmand somewhere in the background so this is just like really 
just like quintessential, typical Victoria's Secret type of smell. Not too fruity, not too floral, not too gourmand. It's just somewhere perfectly in the middle. It's just like enjoyable. It's just really enjoyable and very light. This is like something I would wear to the gym, you guys. In fact, I probably will put this in my gym bag. You can see that there's actually a little bit missing because I have worn this. It doesn't have crazy longevity. Yeah, it's not It's not crazy when it comes to the performance, but it's just like very light and very enjoyable and very girly and feminine and pretty. And by virtue of the fact that it's girly and pretty and feminine, it's also kind of sexy. It's not like date night, I don't think. Maybe. But yeah, it's just really nice and I quite enjoy it, you guys. This is a very pleasant surprise for me from Victoria's Secret because I don't typically like a lot of Victoria's Secret body sprays. There's usually the odd one here and there that I do like and this one was a winner for me, so... Yeah, I really like it. This one is probably going straight into my gym bag. I think for me, when people ask like, what, where would you place body mist and body sprays? What do you use them for? For me, it's usually honestly the gym because that is when I want something that isn't going to choke out the whole room, but I'm still going to smell nice. People are going to be able to smell me. It makes me feel good about myself. I like the way that I smell. Um, yeah, it's just like a very pleasant, pleasant light scent. So I really, really like this one. The next good smelling item is the Milky Leave-In Conditioner from Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Sol de Janeiro hairline. So it's in this really cute little bottle that looks a lot like the Sol de Janeiro perfumes. I do have the Boom Boom Cream or Bum Bum Cream. I also have the perfume in a travel size version of this. I also have the hair oil, which I will be doing a video on talking about like favorite hygiene's faves and fails because that hair oil actually turned out to be a fail for me. I like this a lot better. And I also have this in the body spray version. So I had basically run out of my favorite leave-in conditioner and I wanted something to replace it with that smelled really, really good. I am all about scents. And this one looked like it might be pretty good for my hair as well as smelling amazing. So it says that it is cruelty-free. What else does that say? It's very small. Formulated without parabens, sulfate-free and color safe. And the bottle is like really interesting. It's kind of this like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like not shiny, it's got like a rubbery almost feel to it. And it has this really nice nozzle, which I really like. You can either have it opened or closed for when you travel. And this smells so good, you guys. This smells just like the Boom Boom Cream, just like the Sol Charosa 62. It smells amazing. And actually, you guys, I used this for the first time the other night in my hair. My hair was so soft the next day. So what I usually do is I wash my hair at night before I go to bed. I let it dry about 80% or so, and then I go to bed, and then when I wake up in the morning, my hair is dry because I don't like to use a blow dryer if I don't have to. And I woke up, and my hair was so like nicely moisturized and like shiny and soft, very, very soft. So I really, really liked this. It's probably one of the nicest um, leave-in conditioners that I found as of late. It was a little bit pricey, but it tends to last me a really long time. My last leave-in conditioner, which I'll show you guys when I do my empties video, I, I bought at the beginning of the pandemic and I literally just ran out. Actually, it's not even quite out. So leave-in conditioners for some reason last me a really long time. I think because I only wash my hair every like four or five days. So I don't use a lot of leave-in conditioner, but yeah, I really, really like this. And I highly recommend if you're looking for a really good hair leave-in product that will make your hair feel very soft. Of course, I can't speak to every hair type, um, but also that smells amazing. So next we have three body sprays from Bath & Body Works. Two of them I purchased in store. One of them I found online because I think it only comes out once a year, or actually it might be discontinued. I don't know for sure. Don't take my word on it. But for some reason, I think that this one is no longer widely available, and this is the pink chiffon. So why don't we start with the pink chiffon and then we'll go to the other ones. So this is pink chiffon and this, I just wanted it because I wanted to review it for you guys and I also wanted to revisit it because this is one of those like typical, again, very quintessential girly fragrances um, that has been around forever. It's kind of like a cult favorite. A lot of people really love this one. Um, and it's just like a very typically like girly, sweet, flirty scent. And I just wanted to try it and see if it was something that I would be into these days. So the notes are on the back here and it says that it has sparkling red pear, vanilla orchid and chiffon musk. So I will say, first of all, I don't know what chiffon musk smells like. The bottle is so pretty. Like it's giving me all the vibes. I just love it. Um, and this one, okay. So I like it 
but I don't know if I love the red pair. That being said, I haven't actually worn this or given myself a chance to wear this. This would be another good one, I think, for like the gym bag because it does have a little bit of a fruity freshness to it, but it also has this like sexy girliness to it. It's almost a little bit like sporty, but at the same time being flirty. Um, I do have it in the cap here too. Let's give it another spray. The wonderful thing about these body sprays is you can spray them right in the cap. So yeah, so when you first spray it, it's very overwhelmingly red pear, like very fruity, very fresh, but also has this like girly vanilla kind of musk in the background. It's one that I would have to try wearing, like actually do a full body wear test to see how I feel about it because I like the dry down a lot better than the opening. And of course the opening doesn't last, right? This bottle also smells a little bit old. Like I said, I got this one from a discount website so it wasn't like fresh on the shelf. And this one is not in stores at the moment so I don't know how old this bottle is. It doesn't smell quite the pink chiffon that I remember. And like, I don't know about the packaging. I don't know if this is like, I know that the packaging for pink chiffon varies from like year to year. So I don't know if this is like a super old bottle but it kind of smells a little bit older than I remember like the scent smelling. Yeah. So I just don't know if I'm sold on this one. It's one I'm going to have to just try wearing one day to the gym and just see how I feel about it. I do like the dry down of this one a lot more than the opening. So not really sure how I feel about pink chiffon at the moment. Okay. So the next one is strawberry snowflakes. Now this one, I don't know if this is new this year. It's definitely new this season, but I don't know if it's like a totally new fragrance altogether. And this one is basically strawberry. And I think vanilla and musk, I think is what's in it. I don't have the notes in front of me, but that's what I can recall from when I was looking it up in the store. And this one's smells very similar to strawberry pound cake except it's not nearly as sweet it's a little bit lighter and softer and more vanillic which I kind of do like so first of all the packaging the packaging is so cute uh, you know I really like this I this actually kind of smells like a cross between vanilla bean noel meets strawberry pound cake but not super super strong is kind of what it's giving me yeah um yeah, like that's what I like about this one is that it smells actually along the lines of like a vanilla bean Noel, but with this ever so subtle like pink strawberry twist, especially in the opening. I actually bought this one not expecting to like it, thinking I would give it to my daughter for Christmas, and I'm actually kind of tempted to keep it for myself, even though that's very selfish. I would get her another one, of course. <laughs> we can both wear it, but I really like, I really like this one. It's just like, it's very soft, it's very cozy, it's very feminine, but not too serious, you know? It's just like a nice, it's just it's just like a very nice, enjoyable scent. It would be perfect for a day like today when there's lots of snow on the ground, we have a little bit of flurries going on, very cold, candle lit, Christmas tree going in the corner, Christmas tree going, <laughs> Christmas tree lit up in the corner. Um, just like, it's just like a really cozy, pretty scent that I, I kind of like. And this is another body spray that I picked up in person from Bath and Body Works the other day when they were having their sale. Everything was, I think, $5.99. And I love this one, you guys. So I have smelled this one before. Obviously, this is not a brand new scent. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. One of my favorite, all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, although I've never bought the body spray to wear for myself. I think I've always just had the lotion like a long time ago, and I don't know, maybe I had a candle as well at some point. Um, but the notes that you have in here are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookie, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. All right, and you can see if you look at the bottle, there's actually a dent because I wore this for a couple of days in a row and I really, really liked it. And I'm realizing that it's very easy to put dents in body mist bottles because you usually spray a lot of them because they're not quite as strong as a perfume. Yeah, I really like this scent, you guys. My nose is becoming very overwhelmed because of everything I've smelled today. I'm not used to sitting here and smelling like 10 perfumes at once anymore. I don't do that a lot anymore. Yeah, it doesn't smell very good in the cap for some reason. But yeah, this is just like such an enjoyable, cozy, warm vanilla. I just really, really like it. It does have a little bit of that sort of like like rich, like buttercream frosting type of vibe in there, but it's not too strong. It's not nearly as strong as something like this, for example. This is like much sweeter and much heavier, for example. This one is a lot more 
This is just like a nicer, like muskier vanilla. Smells a little bit more sophisticated and mature. This one smells a little bit more too sweet and just not, not at all. It smells very artificial as well. The Vanilla Bean Noel smells a lot more sophisticated and more like a perfumed body spray than like, it doesn't smell as artificial is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and it's just like really enjoyable. And I wore this one to the gym the other day. It was my gym scent, absolutely loved it. Not too strong, doesn't choke people out. Just makes me feel like I smell really good. And that's what I want when I go to the gym. I just wanna smell like, if I walk by somebody, they just get a hint like, oh, that girl smells nice, you know? But I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be choking people out. And it doesn't last a crazy long time, but it's not weak. I did hear through the grapevine that this is one of the ones that they have watered down a little bit i guess there's this trend while well, there is this trend a lot of perfumes and body sprays are becoming more and more weak over the years I, I don't know if companies are just trying to save money so they're not putting as much fragrance oil in their products which is really too bad because it causes people to want to buy more and spray more like i said this one isn't poor performance it's not terrible but i've definitely had better i'm going to be doing an updated um body spray or fragrance spray video and show you what have been my favorites i actually have a couple that i've been wearing a lot and i've been really really liking from victoria's secret bath and body works so i'm going to put them all together and show you guys like what my favorites have become after i've had a little bit more time with each of them but yeah i really i really really like this one it's just like it's very cozy, very warm, and a little bit nostalgic for me as well because I've liked the scent for so long. All right, you guys, and the final item in today's video is another fragranced item slash self-care or hygiene item, and this is the Moroccan oil. I do not know if I'm gonna say this properly. Brooms de Moroc, Brooms de Moroc, Broom de Moroc, I'm not sure. This is a fragrance mist for hair and body. So you guys, I have seen this on the shelf at Sephora so many times. I've passed it by, never gave it a second thought. This, you guys, smells so amazing. It smells so good. I can't even tell you. Like the day that I got it home and I opened it up and I sprayed it, I was addicted. Like this for me is almost as good, like on a scale of zero to 10. This is like a 10 out of 10 for me, just like Sol de Janeiro is 10 out of 10, like the Boom Boom Cream. It doesn't smell like the Boom Boom Cream. It's quite different, but in terms of how much I love it, I love this you guys and i just looked on fragrantica and it says it has amber and floral notes that's all that's listed that does not do it justice um so this is a hair and body mist and i can't remember where i was reading it but it has like argan oil and i think a couple of other types of oils and it's supposed to be very moisturizing and very good for both your skin and your hair but also has this beautiful scent the scent does not last a really really long time i will say that it's sort of fleeting but it smells incredible um so just for that like just for that moment of enjoying the fragrance for like a few minutes and of course it does linger in your hair but in terms of like if you wanted something that's going to act like a perfume this doesn't act like a perfume um so before I tell you what it smells like, this is also, like I said, good for your hair. So I did spray this in my hair. Now my hair type is fine. I have thick hair, like I have a lot of hair, but the hair itself is quite fine. So be careful when you spray this, like go lightly with it because it is quite oily because it does have a lot of actually like good hair oils in here for your hair. Um, and it did, I noticed that it did make my hair almost like a little too oily with a few sprays. So on one hand i wanted to spray a lot because i wanted it to smell really good and on the other hand i had to hold back a little bit because it was oily right so you just have to be a little bit careful like just don't go crazy with it on your skin definitely but on your hair you do have to be a little a little careful um so first of all i think the bottle is so beautiful and okay you guys i do i have COVID or something my nose is like i feel like everything smells off today i'm gonna spray this in the cap we have ourselves a nice fresh spray here oh my gosh okay never mind my nose is not broken <laughs> it's like what's wrong with my nose but it's just because i haven't sprayed it in a few days oh my gosh you guys oh, okay this smells like the most bougie luxurious tropical like hairspray shampoo conditioner like body oil oh my gosh it smells so good it, sm it smells so good. It's very, very floral. I don't know what kind of flowers are in here. It's very floral. I would say like white, maybe like white yellow type of florals and like more tropical type of florals, like maybe some 
tiara flower type of thing. Um, it just smells like super clean, super luxurious, very tropical, very like sun-kissed beachy, but super, super luxurious, basically. I absolutely, absolutely love this. So this I would say I would use as like a kind of to freshen up at some point throughout the week if my hair, if the ends of my hair were feeling a little bit dry, I would probably only use it once in between washing my hair, like in between wash days. Otherwise I think you would get too greasy and I would only ever put this like from the shaft to the end, like mid shaft to the end, uh, ends of your hair and not too much, but you could also put this just on your body. Um, you could put it like on your chest, on your arms, um, would be a great thing again to wear to the gym as like a light gym scent. Um, just to moisturize your skin would be very luxurious to put on after the bath, just spray it all over your body. Yeah, it just smells, it just smells incredible. 10 out of 10 recommend, absolutely love. You can see there is already a dent. That is from like, that's like from a couple days use. So you do have to be careful with, with some of these because um, it's very easy to go heavy on body mist. And I find that I'm putting dents in my body spray bottles a lot faster than I do in my perfume bottles. Yeah, I don't know you guys, I just, <laughs> Honestly, between this and the Sol de Janeiro leave-in hair conditioner, I feel like my hair is like getting the bougiest treatment right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, so those are all the items in today's little haul. And so just to do a quick recap, my favorite items are the Strawberry Snowflake Body Spray. Not sure how I, th how I feel about the Pink Chiffon. Really like the Vanilla Bean Noel. Really, really like the Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. Kind of very sexy and very girly, like just not to go off on a tangent, but like, for example, if you're comparing Vanilla Bean Noel and Velvet Petals, Vanilla Bean Noel is more of that gourmand, like nostalgic, vanilla, musky vibe that smells a little more foodie. It's definitely more gourmand, where the Velvet Petals is more like girly, sexy, kind of, if you know what I mean. So I like them both probably equally, but for different reasons. Not a fan of the Whipped Dream, it's just like, it's too rich for me. I can't do it. The Sol de Janeiro leave-in conditioner, absolutely love and definitely recommend. This made my hair so nice and soft, but without weighing it down and did not make it greasy either. Whereas the Brooms de Maroc, the Moroccan oil um, fragrance mist, smells amazing but was a little bit oily a little bit too oily for my hair so i probably won't use it a ton in my hair probably just more of like an all over mist whereas the leave-in conditioner from sol de janeiro was like i would apply this in my hair like normal amounts and be very liberal with it and can't forget about our twisted peppermint candle so that is my little home slash body care slash fragrance mist haul i hope that you guys really enjoyed hearing my thoughts on all of these products and let me know down below if you have any questions and also let me know if you have any other products along these lines that you think i should check out and thank you so much for watching